Hi folks, Glyn here. I'm just uh, taking a bit of a break while I'm doing a bit of writing for a practical Photoshop magazine. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I just thought I'd quickly come and say hello and just show you one thing I've been asked quite a lot about, which is this uh, rifling effect in one of the recent pictures I've done, this one I called Skinful, which is kind of like a picture to celebrate the launch of the new Bond movie. So I just thought I'd take a quick break just to show you or give you an idea of how this was done. Now, obviously, this is all going to be covered in the article that comes out in Practical Photoshop, which I think is December. So we're just in the early parts of November now. So next month is when the tutorial will be coming out. And it's a full tutorial showing exactly how this whole picture was done, including the flooring, the lights, all the textures and everything like that. Uh, cutting this guy out, putting him in and what have you. But I just thought I'd show you very, very quickly how we do this rifling thing here because that's one of the big things about the Bond movies. They do have all this rifling effect appearing somewhere within the picture. So here is how we do it and it is really, really simple. All I'm going to do is go to uh, File and New and I'm going to open up a new document and I want it to be the exact same dimensions as the picture I've got open at the moment. And when I, I can do that by using this preset menu here. Loads of different sizes and you'll find that the document you have open is actually listed there as well. So I want it to be exactly the same as this one which is called Skinful and we'll click OK. So here I've now got a blank document. Now what I want to do is I'm going to um, add some guides in now because I need to add a couple of circles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll just clear these guides. I'm going to go to view and new guide. And I need to get the dead center of this image here or this, this canvas. So when we, when we do the new guides, we're presented with this new guide dialog box where it says horizontal and vertical and position area here. Now if I just put in 50% and click OK, that gives me a guide right across the center of our canvas. So then to get one down the middle, I'll just go back to view, new guide, click on vertical and put 50% in there. So now I have the exact middle point here of our document. So I need to create this, uh, this layout. So what we're going to do is I'll add a blank layer and I'll get my marquee tool, an elliptical marquee and I'm going to drag out right from the center. So I'm going to hold down my Shift and my Alt key, or my Option key. Click in the middle and drag out a circle or almost right to the very edges like so. And we'll go Edit, Fill, and we'll fill that with black. And we'll just deselect it like so. So now I'll add another blank layer. I'll go back to my elliptical marquee tool and from the center again, I'm going to drag out a smaller circle like that. Something like that's fine. And we've got edit, fill, and we'll fill that with 50% gray. The color here is completely irrelevant. It's just so that we can see it. So obviously I'm not going to do it black. And because we're going to be working on a white background, I don't want to fill it in white either. So gray is fine. And we'll deselect that. Now the next thing I need to do is click back on the, the layer containing the big circle, go to my rectangular marquee tool and drag out a selection which is the top half of this canvas area here. And because I've got these guides that makes it really easy to, to drag out and snap to there. So it's exactly half. And I'm just going to press delete so we get this semicircle here. We'll just deselect that. I'm going to get my move tool and I'm going to drag this semicircle over so that the right hand side of it lines up with the right hand side of the grey circle in the middle. And then we'll go to edit and free transform and I'm just going to drag it off the bottom of the canvas area just there. Something like that is fine. Now I'm going to keep the guides up because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this semicircle layer over here in the layers panel. So I can either press command or control J or just click it and drag it over the new layer icon. And then I'm going to go to edit and free transform. Now when we do this, there's a little what's called a pivot point appears right in the middle here. And what I want to do is I'm going to position that right where the center of the image is. So where these two guides cross over, Let's just zoom in a little bit. I want that to be dead center on there because that's where when I rotate this, I want it to rotate on that point because we're going to go round in a circle. So once we've done that, up the top here, we have the rotation dialog box. And I'm going to put in something like 42. And we'll tick that so it's done. Uh, I'm then going to hold down my command key or my control key and then click on the thumbnail containing that half of the semicircle there that I just moved click back on layer one and then press delete. 
deselect it so it doesn't look like anything's happened now but what I am going to do is get rid of that layer that I just moved up put that in the trash can and we're left with this shape here so we can see we're kind of getting on the way to this rifling but obviously now I need to somehow go all the way around and do this so it could be quite difficult but I'm just going to show you a trick which is such a time saver it's unbelievable very very handy trick but we need to do one thing first First things first, I'm going to duplicate that shape now, that shape layer over here, this kind of like bit that I've cut out. So now I've got a copy of it. And again, I'm going to go to Edit and Free Transform. And for the last time, I'm going to grab this pivot point and put it right in the dead center there, where those two, grid, those two uh, guides cross over. I shall just put it right in the middle. And then on the rotation at the top, I'm going to put in 45. And we'll click the little tick. So that's done. Now what I don't need to do is go around the whole of this picture to try and get all that filled in because there's a keyboard shortcut, a hidden keyboard shortcut called Step and Repeat that we can use in Photoshop. And Photoshop remembers what I've just done. So check this out. If I hold down my Shift, Option, Command and T, it then does it again. So then if I do that again, and again, and again, and again, and one more, bang. So straight away, I've got this rotation going around, this rifling pattern that we wanted, but I didn't have to go through all those really awkward steps of having to drag this here, drag this there, and what have you. So let's just get rid of these guides. So we go View and Clear Guides. And this is how I then ended up using this rifling pattern in this image, image here. What I did was I, um, I held down my command key and I clicked on the gray circle layer at the top here. So click, so it kind of loads it as a selection. You can see the marching ants there. Ooh, almost get like a rotation there, look. Um, right, so we've got that selection there, that's loaded. And then we're gonna go to uh, layer and flatten image, like so. I need to do unlock the background layer, which it's created now, because it's got this little padlock symbol. So if I just double click on this layer, it brings up this dialog box here, and I'll just click OK. And then I'll just press Delete. So now I've got this transparent area in the middle here, and this rifling going around the outside. And quite simply, all I need to do then is, because at the moment we've got like a black background with white rifling, I need the opposite. I need white background with black rifling. So I can go to Image, Adjustments, and invert, so it swaps those colors around. And then it was just a simple case of dragging this over into my image when I was working on it, positioning it where I wanted it, and then changing the blend mode over here to multiply, which takes away the white and just leaves the rifling here. And that's exactly what I did on this little bit on the right hand side. So really, really simple, but that step and repeat uh, action that you can do with your keyboard shortcut there is an absolute time saver. Anyway, I've got to crack on, but I just thought I'd leave that with you. So uh, I shall see you next time.